Hey, this is Rockwell Anderson here at Chicago Open Air, day one. And we're here with Drowning Pool, or at least two members of, and we're going to talk about their music, Hallelujah, of course, the new album, and about their ink. So introduce yourselves, gentlemen. What's up? I'm Stevie. I play bass. Hi. I'm Jason. I sing. You sing. You scream a little bit, too. I, I scream a lot, yeah. And I sing a little bit. I'm a vocalist. How about that? Better? Before we get into the music, I just want to ask the guys. These guys are from Dallas. They all live in, in Dallas. That's where Drowning Pool is originally from, and these guys still live there. Um, you know, there's a tragedy that happened. We're just going to make this real quick because we're not a political magazine, and neither is Tattoo. But I just want to ask real quick uh, if you have any thoughts or feelings about what happened in Dallas um, just a little while ago. Um, you know, it was a lone wolf, uh, crazy situation, and it, it's just very sad, and I'm sorry that it happened in Dallas, be especially, you know, it's, it's sad that it would happen anywhere, but especially Dallas because, you know, it's such a tight-knit community, and we don't have the police problems and just the, the racial divide that seems to, to plague a lot of cities, you know, we just, I just don't see that in Dallas, you know, it's, it's nothing like that ever happens. There's no, you know, shootings or beatings or anything like that. So to see this, this, this unfold in, in our city, it was just not only shocking, but just a little bit sad because it just feels like the city is very innocent of a lot of the racial divide that, that goes on in the country. Jason, did you want to say anything? I mean, wait, I could elaborate on, on what Stevie said. I mean, I think that I mean, for myself personally, I just don't understand it, you know. I mean, I understand hate. We all help feel hate, but, you know, for it just to be so, so, you know, open and and unbiased and, and just, I mean, not unbiased, but just so, I feel like it was, it was senseless, you know. Everyone's saying it was senseless, and it, and it truly was senseless, and I know, you know, our hearts and our, our, you know, best wishes go out to the families because that's that's really who's going to be left to suffer to pick up the pieces is is all the families and that's on both sides of the issue. I mean, it's you know the the, the law enforcement side as well as you know the you know black lives matter. I mean, it, it all lives matter. You know, I mean, I just think the whole thing is sad and it's as Stevie was saying. As I said, I could elaborate on it. You know, I, I hope that there's some resolution soon because we still live there. We have our families there, and you know, and it's human nature. I mean, it's not right. It's not wrong to to not really be affected by it until it, it hits close to home. You know, and that and that that could possibly come off as insensitive. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but it's really an eye opener when. You know, a couple months back, you remember, you know, there were people shooting at the police station. I don't know if you remember that, you know, in the middle of the night. And now you have, you know, one random dude, Lone Wolf, shooting at um, cops. You know, an innocent woman just trying to protect her son was shot in her leg. You know, I mean, I just, I don't understand it. You know, I just don't understand. Well, Dallas is a beautiful city, beautiful enough for myself and my wife. We're going to be moving there next year. Congratulations. Yes. We're getting out of California. L.A., I love you, but also fuck you in the same sense. But anyway, but convert another Cowboy fan right here. No, I'm a Packer Come fan. On. I'm from Wisconsin originally, so I'm a Packer fan. Fuck you, Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. You can marry into Texas and still cheat with Cali. It's all right, man. That's okay. Hey, you guys got a new album out. Hallelujah. Um, tell us a little bit about that. What's it all about? I know you've been playing tracks off of it. It's a fucking great album. Pick it up. What do you got a few words to say about that? Man, it's a record about uh, life's pain, just life's frustration. You know, it's it's uh, it's what we all experience, what we all go through. It's our common bond, if you will, you know. The the guys playing the music, the people listening, we've all been through it, man. You know, you gotta find your moments where life is great, but 90% of the time, it fucking sucks. And to be able to be honest about it and admit it, and in a way celebrate that, and just be like, hey man, we know it fucking sucks, but you know, let's make the best of it, let's make the most of it, and enjoy what little, what little joy, enjoy what little joy we, we actually get, you know what I'm saying? 
I do. And let's go old school for a second. Mr. John Hetlinger. I think that's how he pronounced his last name, Hetlinger. I took a, a photo with a gentleman earlier. It was up on stage with you earlier today because John did a cover. What was that cover? Bodies. He did Bodies on America's Got Talent for his audition. And um, it was sensational. It went viral and uh, record time spread all over the world. And um, happy chance. You know, maybe it was meant to be, maybe it's an accident, but it happened to be a Drowning Pool song that he chose. It happened to be the Drowning Pool song, the magical song that he chose. So I just, it's its amazing that uh, to me, because, you know, I'm the, I'm the perpetual new guy, if you will, man. So um, it's just crazy to me to know that, you know, these dudes that I've known forever, the guys that, you know, we had rivalries back in the day when they were local and I was local. They've written this song that transcends everything, you know? It doesn't matter your station in life or, or the color of your skin. Um, that song, and it sounds so cliche, but I mean, hell, proof is there. We had, you know, 82-year-old vet, brilliant man, way too smart to be hanging out with us. Um, and he's there singing the song, and he's, you know, hanging out, drinking with the guys, and just the life of the party, and, uh, it's, it's it's fun to watch, you know. It was great to see. For a band like us, like when we first started, I mean, we've been around a long time now. When we first, like, got our break and, and hit the national stage, like, MySpace wasn't even big yet. Yeah. That's how far back we go. To, so to see us, like, trending, like, Drowning Pool is, like, the number one trending Twitter thing in the world. We were just like, what the fuck is this? Number one on the Facebook feed. I, I, that's how I saw it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, what the fuck is going on here, man? And it was absolutely brilliant. John, props to you. He, he did an amazing job. I heard he's going to do maybe another show or two? Yeah, he's doing, we're playing a tattoo festival tomorrow, oddly enough, at, a, at the Shawshank Prison. Um, so he's going to come out. John's going to rock the show and get his first tattoo. He's getting uh, the Drowning Pool logo. Tattooed on him tomorrow. Show that up to the show that up to the camera there. There we go. Uh, got that? All right. A year before I could get it. He just does a damn show, and then <laughs> of course he he did go viral. So so let's talk about your other ink because we we talked about some music here. We promised to talk about ink. Um, do you guys get your ink from somebody local in Dallas, or who's who's your main artist? Do you have different artists? Who's doing your ink? Mine is mostly a uh, Dean at Elm Street Tattoo. Is that in Dallas? Yeah, it's uh, down in Deep Ellum uh, on Elm Street. Uh, Dean's fucking awesome. You know, we uh, get hammered. Well, I get hammered. He tattoos, I get hammered, and then we argue about politics for a few hours and listen to fucking like heavy punk stuff. It's fucking great, man. It's a great experience. Excellent. So, shout out, what's the name of his shop again? Elm Street Tattoo. All right, and you, sir. I've been going to a uh, fine gentleman named Wes Brown. Uh, he owns a shop called Metropolis. It's in Denton, Texas. Um, and nice town. Yeah, it's great. It's uh, it's a very hip town. Um, a lot of cool shit to see. Uh, great, great tattoo artist by the name of Wes Brown in Metropolis. I just about bought a building in Denton about a month ago, but, but we're waiting. We're waiting until next year. Denton's awesome, bro. <laughs> Denton's awesome. Well, guys, we've taken up a little bit too much of your time. I thank you very much. Awesome job, and I also want to say real quick to end this all, you guys had a great crowd today, and this is one of the reasons why I'm moving out of LA. We saw you in Echo Park, which is part of LA, back in like with Audio Topsy and Murder FM. Um, oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, at a little yeah. club, they did not support the the. the yeah, yeah. I you know, I I'll, I'll bag in LA because I live there. Awesome. Logo or something. What was the name of that? It was some Spanish name place. I'd never been there before. I'm like, why is Drowning Pool play here? Is the we walked in. It's the first time this has ever happened. We've done a lot of club shows through the years. We honestly have. And we walked in. This is the first time ever we walked into a club show, and there were they there were no lights. Like no lights. Like how is this a show where there's no lights? The stage is about a foot off the ground. Yeah, nobody can see you. You turn the lights off. You may uh, bump into you because yeah. the stage only an inch tall. So <laughs> they were, we were, we were right there. That we, sense. And that's and on that level, it was very intimate and very cool. But 
I kind of had to suck for you guys. But anyway, enough about bashing from LA. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you in Dallas next year if you're around. Okay? Appreciate it. Hey, what's up? I'm Stevie. I'm Jason. We're Drowning Pool, and you are watching Tattoo Duck.com.